Have you ever wondered how we take x-rays of snakes? There are a few different ways, the simplest of which is to take them while the snake is in a glass tank. Although this produces a pretty artistic picture and can be done with an awake snake, it's really not the best at distinguishing the tiniest of details. Although we were able to hold her carefully and take closer pictures of her problem area, which showed a retained egg, when she was sedated, I'd figured we'd take proper x-rays. Once they're sedated, we can get pictures of them completely straight. With snakes, in order to tell exactly where you're at when comparing the x-ray to the snake, I use a very high-tech piece of equipment, a cut-up paper clip, and tape this to evenly spaced portions on their back. When we take an x-ray, the paper clip shows up extremely bright as it's metal, but doesn't take up too much space and doesn't interfere with the picture. This way we can look back and say, for example, that a mass, egg, or a fracture is 5 centimeters distal to the last paper clip. We make sure to take a top-down view of the snake as well as a side view of the snake, as it helps to highlight different aspects. In this radiograph, you can clearly see a bump, which is the heart, surrounded by the black space, or the lung. Here you can see the rest of the lung space, as well as the liver. In this next side view, you can see the gastrointestinal tract and her reproductive tract with the retained egg. Be sure to follow so you don't miss the story about how we got the egg out.